will be working on animation so this is the right building here we are so my uh, main uh, envy in this uh, FX is to make animation appear then disappear or the FX disappear so I have the overlay of the building with the animation on it so on a proper production I would use Photoshop to extract the animation letters and recreate the background but for the purpose of this tutorial I would just use special FX special node in the library just to show how it can be done in harmony so I've prepared a mask of the screen I use the same color approximately than the original background and I've created so I prepared because it's a bit long to do but I've created some animation for the letters to appear so as you can see I created with and harmony drawing it's not really nice to see like this but once I'll be masking my animation with it it will make a proper appearance okay so first step is to extract the animation so I will go to the chroma keying and linked to my overlay and then I will select the color so now if I go to the render view you see that animation is almost alone but as you can see I got orange here too so next move would be to oh sorry to mask this element with the screen alpha and if you do that with the proper inverted you will see my screen and animation properly extracted so once this is done I can add a second mask to make the word animation appear specially with the mask I've created okay and now I want this mask to be not that straight I want the border to be a bit uh, with some uh, uh, I don't know the exact word but I don't want it to be that uh, as a line so I will go inside the special effects and select the warp bubble here linked it so as you can see first it's like a really huge warp bubble I go inside the amplitude and I might oh sorry amplitude reduce it a lot and I might increase the frequency quite a bit and this is still too much so here it is and it's a bit not enough here so I shall increase this and it might be okay okay or let's increase a bit okay looks better to me okay this looks nice to me so I've created everything. Oh, one thing I sh I've forgotten is I want to change the color of animation during the process. So let's plug a hue saturation and create a key. First frame, I might unlock the cutter. 
first frame I add a key here on the U as you can see and let's go here for instance and let's say 358 so once I move I shall move my elements my color from here to here okay let's add some glint now go to the sapphire and inside sapphire let's find the glint here it is and linked it to the animation oh quite big and quite uh, huge so inside the glint I might move some of the size for instance make it more a little bit smaller I shall increase my size detail on the jug okay let's say it's okay and let's move back to see how it, it is yeah it's a bit strong so okay let's say it okay and I want this clean to appear with the animation but then I want them to go away oh sorry not the good one but okay I want the glint to appear as you can see and then go away from right to left so to do that I will add some sapphire wipe pixelate so the wipe pixelate used from N2 so for this one I will use two I will use the matte panel so my pixels would disappear in the matte panel mask and I will use this as a mask for the glint so as you can see once I've plugged if I go inside I have zero amount of wipe and once is full so so I will add uh, here a keyframe here it is keyframe for my WAP amount I will increase my pixel frequency so I have a lot of pixels and then I go to last frame and say it is zero and my element will move from right to left okay so as you can see it changed the alpha of my glint so I might increase the brightness of my glint and the brightness of the dark for instance okay so let's see how it is moving from right to left okay okay this part of the animation is done and now I can jump on the second part